and chat. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where we are on the verge of entering the Underdark. I believe it said there was an entrance in the Temple of Salune, or Saluna, I guess. But which of the temples that is, I don't know. Because there's a couple Saluna temples. Right on the verge of um, the null fight. So we're going to get the hell away from that. Is there something over here? No. Okay. Okay. Search for the survivors of the caravan. We're not doing that right now. Oh, it is that Temple of Saluna. Okay, well, I guess we're going back to the Gerblin camp. Teleport right into this nest of goblins. What is that marker for? Huh. Okay. Oh, we've got a we've got an ogre to deal with. Right, cutting action dash. Let's deal some damage. Yes, I've got my uh, my knives on me. Good. All right, how much damage does that deal? Thirteen. Okay. Nothing important is ever easy. Light on my feet. Uh, all right, what spell are we going to use? Let's use a level one chromatic orb. Only 60%. All right. 13. Okay. That leaves them at one. Come on. Oh, there are goblins right here. Oh, whoops. Oh, they're going after my uh, melee fighter. Oh, double attack. Okay. All right. Oh, I forgot to close Poke Clicker. Hang on. Oh, boy. All right. Shadowheart has already taken half her health. Too close for a spell. So we'll go main head attack. Four damage. Minimum roll. Alright. Karlak. I would like to rage. Sixty percent chance to hit. Alright, what special combat options? Lash out to attack up to three enemies at once and make them bleed. Okay. That's lacerate. Once per short rest. Okay. 
All right, well, let's smack him. High roll. I rolled a one. Way to start off this stream. 12 damage, all right. He's got five HP, so Pommel Strike won't kill. I already used my bonus action anyway. That is a lot of enemies in a row. Oh, no. Got double crit. Alright, maybe we shouldn't have come in through the waypoint. Nice miss. Ow! Holy shit, Astarian is gonna go down. Next intelligence, come on! Alright, maybe we come in through the front door next time. Alright, well, let's get rid of this guy. Miss, come on. Wait, does Vampire Bite stave off him having to feed on Merelda? Huh. Okay. All right, over here. But to keep going. I'm threatened. Disadvantage. Oh, it's only got nine HP. Uh, we're gonna. We'll firebolt. Used up the last of my luck to miss. Great. Miss, come on. Alright, let's let's kill this guy. Yeah, fifty fifty XP. Moving the range of this guy. What should I do? Uh, she has a bonus action. She's gonna drink a greater healing potion. Oh, there's a Gerblin mage up top there. Oh, no. Alright, Carlax fine-ish. But the rest of us are in trouble. By a starian. Why do all these guys have extra attacks? Feel the death saving throw. Uh. Okay. Throw. Let's jump. Oh, throw a healing potion will take up my action. Get a starry and back on his feet, though. Alright, 14 HP. 
Uh, and we'll drink a regular healing potion myself. Uh, let's get... Can they actually dash to get lightning charges again? And wait. Oh, great. He summoned a warg? Four damage. Grand. Alright, spiritual weapon. All right, Karlak, can you reach this without triggering an attack of opportunity? 59 HP! Oh, no. Oh, we need to get rid of these guys uh, threatening us. Strike is one to four damage. Not enough to kill Tiny. So we'll save it. Alright, now a million turns. Bye, Meralda. Double miss. Nice. Critical miss. Nice. Well, Astarian's down again. Saved against Sacred Flame. Excellent. Okay. That was the time for Point Black Fireballs. I do have a scroll of Fireball. I think. Cloud of Daggers, Fog Cloud. Featherfall is a bonus action. Animal Friendship, Web, Tasha's. Excuse me. Where's my fireball scroll? Chromatic Orb, uh, level one. All right, got that one. I forget which one of them summoned the warg. Shadow Heart. <sighs> Got him. Okay. Uh, bonus action. Healing word. A starry. Alright, Karlak. 
Okay. We're at, I think we're in AOO range of the ogre, so we have to go after him. 16 damage ain't bad. Uh, let's try to daze the ogre. Dazed, excellent. I don't actually know what that does. Double miss, nice. This is snaring. Crit miss, nice. All right, if we get back to Astarian's turn, we've got to... Um, we've got to have him use a greater healing potion. Miss, come on! All right, bye, Astarian. Miss, okay. Miss, okay. What did you throw at the guard? Huh, weird. All right. Target is too close. Target is too close and threatened. You're right, I should have bought a scroll of fireball. Miss, of course. Enter. All right, that's a level two Gerblin. Okay. Okay. Well, healing word, Astarian. Max roll, nice. Forty-two percent because I'm threatened. Miss, of course. Okay. Which of these guys do I attack? I'd have to take an attack of opportunity to get rid of this guy. Let's take out Brawler Rot so there's one fewer enemy attacking us. Got him. Greater healing potion. Alright, Carlax. Carlax doing good now. Okay. And now for a million enemy turns. By Astarian. Miss, of course. I think this battle is a wipe. Oh, 
don't heal the ogre. All right, let's try it. Miss, of course. Four damage, grand. Okay, uh, healing word. Use a level two spell slot on a starian. Uh, all right, let's kill this guy. Hopefully. Got him. Okay. That's okay, Minda. Thanks for stopping by either way. Ha! Missed! Double miss. Miss! Merelda's down. Not that Merelda was doing much. Spiritual weapon. Roll high? Didn't roll high. Bye, Astarian. Yep. Alright, spiritual weapon's dead. Great. Alright, we both got our saving throws. All right, let's roll high. Got him exactly. Okay. Wait, hang on. Does Karlak have this scroll of fireball? No, she doesn't. Okay. Let's work on guard Gurgun. 15 damage. Nice. Okay. Couple more of those and uh, and he is dead. Alright. Take a healing potion. Still down 2 damage but that miss is nice. Miss. 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 Oh, ow. Miss? Three damage and a miss. And three damage. Okay. Four to twenty four. Target is too close, but it's a 49% chance to hit. And miss. Alright, well, healing word on yourself. Uh, Karlak attack. Guard Gurgan. Three turns of rage left. 13 damage. Not terrible. Drink a healing potion. Oh, 
Oh, knockback. All right. Oh, come on. Now you're hitting. Oh. Oh, Shadowheart is bone. Bye, Shadowheart. Oh, Astarian's going to die. All right, let's roll high. Got him. Yeah, I was going to go in the front door uh, next time I tried this. All right, let's hope Astarian doesn't uh, fail his next saving throw. Lots of misses. Excellent. Miss. Excellent. Miss. Excellent. Astarian succeeded on his saving throw. Okay. And Merelda stabilized. Okay. Merelda's out of the fight. It is not going to be bothered with. Let's throw a healing potion at Astarian. At worst, it'll he'll take a couple more hits away from Karlak and um and reset his death saves. Oh, we have to move out of range of the ward companion. All right. Missed the AOO. Excellent. Oh, boy. All right. Astarian's going to go down again, but that'll reset his uh, saving throws. Couple misses. Bye, Astarian. Ugh. Ten damage. Ow. Ten damage. Ow. And she's out of greater healing potions. Oh, Karlak's almost down. Uh, I can bonus action rage. Or bonus action heal. Got a bonus action heal. Twelve damage, not half. All right, well, we put in a good show. <sighs> I already have spell shaping, right? So if I went and I bought a scroll of fireball, um, I could point blank fire it and it wouldn't hit my allies. Okay, uh, yeah, let's character sheet Merelda. Characteristics. Sculpt spells. Take no damage from them. Excellent. Okay. Who has... I swear I found a scroll of fireball. Who has it? 
Uh, Morella doesn't have it. I know that. Karlak is not carrying it. Shadowheart has a scroll of protection from evil and good. Astarian is not carrying it. Uh, okay. Teleport back to the grove. Let's see if that's where we could buy it. Unless you have some speed potions. Do you know what they do? It's not just a speed buff as you might expect. Uh, no. What do they do? How much XP do we need to level up? Oh, we need almost 1,400. Good lord. Okay, we're not getting that before this fight. Oh no, the shop keeps gone. Give you an extra action on your turn. Oh. So we'll feed those to Carlac. Oh, nope. Shopkeep. It'll take a while for us all to recover. But you, of course. Come on, scroll the fireball. No scroll of fireball. Grant. Okay. Let's die. Keep forgetting that Astarian's got all sorts of uh, special arrows. May you keep balance. Okay. All right. I guess we'll try going in the front door this time. Oh, right. Let's uh, swap the speed potions around. Various vaulting, animal speaking, oil of accuracy... Greater healing, potion of healing, invisibility, potion of sleep, potion of speed. How long does that last? That lasts. The condition ends become lethargic. Uh, uh, Can't move or take actions, bonus actions, or le or reactions. Yikes. How long does that status effect last? Lethargic lasts two turns. Okay. Well, we're going to give these to Karlak. No, we're going to give two to Karlak and two to Astarian. Lethargic lasts one turn. Okay, well that's not so bad then. Alright. Gerblin camp. That's Joaquin's rest. Gerblin camp. Where's the closest teleport spot? Blighted village.
was not expecting the most troublesome fight to be the one outside. Now that we've done all that, save game. Come on, everybody, bunch up. All right, three of us all in a row. A star is blocked by Morelda, of course. Uh, Morelda. Why don't you move out of the way? Toss a chromatic orb at this guy. Think you could take me on. Got him. Okay, that's a good start. Hungry for the slaughter. Uh, Okay, can't reach anybody with dash, but I'm going to accumulate the lightning charges anyway. We'll go here. Can't afford to let up. Uh, Shadow Heart. Have to keep going. Can you shoot from here? Yes. Miss, of course. Okay. Ogre's coming up with dash. That's a lot of movement. Okay. Potion of spirit. That's glorious fault. We push it to speed. Doubles my movement speed. Cannot range first turn. Okay. Why do we move up? I think she's got a grenade on her. How much speed does this guy have? 14. Got it. Got him. That was probably a waste of that bomb, but... Alright, can I actually dash, accumulate some more lightning charges? Should have taken the potion. Oh well. Talk to me. Uh, all right, let's cast a spell. Got him. Okay. That one's down. Move up. Uh, spiritual weapon. Great axe. Wait so there. For peace. These boots have seen everything. All right. Uh, do any of these explode? No. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, so we'll do a regular chromatic orb hey! on this guy. Got him. Okay. Morelda's got an exp a bunch of explosives. Okay. All right, Karlak, drink that potion of speed. And let's get to damaging. Miss, miss. Take a hit. Okay. Astarian. Potion of speed. All right. Gurkhan's uh, taking a lot of damage. Excellent. All right, Shadow Heart. Let's blast. Got him. Okay. Shadow Heart, stay there. Morelda. How much HP does this guy have? Seven. All right, let's roll high. One damage. All right. All right. All right. All right. Miss. Nice. Hexed strength. All right. So much for the spiritual weapon. Eh, it ate some. Uh, it ate some hits. Okay. Rage. You just stay there. Miss. Nice. Astarian. Get the action dash. Concentration broken. Okay. Shadow Heart, move up. What HP does this guy have left? Nine. Uh, let's cast a level one guiding bolt. Fifteen. Okay. This is going much better. Uh, do we spend our last level two slot on spiritual weapon? I think we do. This guy, seven HP. Let's just uh, let's just shoot him. Three damage. All right. All right, Carlac, you're gonna move up. Can you reach? Yes, you can. 
Dude, this is going so much better. Dash. Delicious. Holy crap. So question about the uh, the vampire bite mechanics. If he uses vampire bite uh, in combat on an enemy and it makes him happy does that mean he won't have to uh, feed on Morelda for a while alright let's deal some damage to Bowek Nuck 17 I think that was a max roll holy crap Go after Carlac. That's very nice. Time to press ahead. Uh Roll a ten. Got it. Okay. Oh, forgot about that guy. Nice crit. All right, I guess that was ten turns. All right, you got him. Uh, I guess we'll go kill these goblins as well. Alright, you guys catch up. Uh, Alright, so there's one, two, three, four, five of them. We're cutting action dash to get our lightning charges. Oh, we're trapped in mud. That's why he's got lower Another movement. Fight. Let's go. All right, let's try to kill Crusher. Got him! High roll! Yeah, we'll dash. How does one get up here? Let's look around. How does one get up there? Hmm. Eight damage is nothing to Carlac.
Oh, we're in electrified water. Uh oh. Survival is all that matters. Can I shoot you from down here? Path is interrupted. Tangled, all right. Tangled for one turn. All right, just kill, okay. Ah, I can get up the knotted roots. Saved Ray of Sickness. Okay. We're just going to have to live with being entangled. Oh, ensnared. Great. Okay. is interrupted. Ah, oh, come on. All right. It's snared. All right. Let's cook with fire, baby. Okay. I want a story to bite this guy. Eh, whatever. Got him. Oh, hello. There's a bunch of guys up here. Oh, okay. Eh, Carla can handle it. She is not, she is not ranged. Whoops. Oh, he's got magic missile. Whoops. Oh, can hit from down. Oh, path is interrupted still. Uh, let's... She is out of spell slots to healing word. Okay. Action dash. On the way. And will not be able to jump because I just used up the bonus action. God damn it. I wish I, could, I wish you could use your actions for bonus actions. That's blocked too. Can I shoot from here? Path is interrupted. All right. Still can't hit from down here. Where's Magic Missile? Two, 
two there. All right, might as well hit all three there. Or I guess all four. All right, got him out of the way. Saved against the Staring Strike. Uh, Carlax hurting for health. That's what the great potion of greater healing's for. Stimp. I suppose I could fly. Spiritual weapon's just going to be falling behind for a while. Alright, how the hell are you supposed to get up there? Do you go all the way over here? Hmm, no. I guess you have to jump to get up there. Weird. Oh, loot. Okay. Path is interrupted. Okay. Eh, Carla can hit a... Where are you going? Too high. Okay. Path is interrupted. This guy's coming down. Let's move. <laughs> Miss, come on. Nice miss. One day I'll catch a break. Love the gloves of missile snaring. Wait, did she not rage? Fuck yes. She has not raged. Okay. Well, we're still going to use a healing potion instead. She jumped that high. I don't think so. Let's find out. Too high. Okay. Moving. Not enough movement. Okay. Crit miss. Nice. Uh, let's vampire bite this fucker. Got him. Okay. Is there a guy right there? No. Where's the guy? Alright, we'll, we'll stay here for the moment. Oh, there's the guy. Uh, Critical and Thunder. Dead 
Got him. Okay. Ow. Alright, Karlak, use your other greater healing potion. And roll high. That was not high enough. Oh, summon the uh, warg. Okay. And she's fresh out of... Nice crit! On I go. She's fresh out of healing. Or spells, I guess. Whatever. Alright, got him. That did not give EXP, unfortunately. Come on, can't stay idle. Path is interrupted. And she's out of spell slots. With haste. Let's move her over here. Uh Karlak. Healing potion. Finish off Stimp. Got it. Okay. Let's finish this. This way. All right, ranged attack. Can we reach? Nope. Hey, get back up there. What? Why? Come on! Got him. Cool. Can't even catch my breath. This is gonna feel good. All right, now let's rage. Well, the spiritual weapon expired without doing anything. Well, roll high. Got it. Oh, I could go for a good meal. All right, let's loot up here. Witch bolt and grease. Magic of the Weave. Few try to understand the Weave. A true pity, for only they who are truly attuned to the Weave can rightly call themselves spellcasters. Thus comes the question, what is the Weave? It is an essential element of the universe. It runs through everything in unseen threads. It is what makes magic possible. It is also, though I will not go into further detail here, the goddess Mistra herself. See, Magic of the Weave, Mistra, the Spell Plague. The Weave isn't magic precisely. Rather, it is the raw material from which magic is woven, not entirely unlike how a collection of threads is shaped and formed into a garment. Those with the necessary talent and skill can manipulate the Weave and perform magic by casting spells. Developing this skill takes years of learning and constant practice, you might have heard of those who can cast spells because they are born with an innate connection to the Weave, commonly called sorcerers, or worse, because they struck a bargain with an otherworldly creature, also known as warlocks. Do not be deceived. Their magic is unpredictable, uncontrolled. 
and in some cases not even rightfully theirs. No, to truly know and manipulate the weave is an art, but those wizards who master it will know the limitless power and beauty the weave provides. All right, let's loot all the stuff up here and then have her return to... Um, return to the party. Antidote. Healing potion. One gill, all right. And a skull. Wolf wrecked. A good punch would probably finish it. Ooh, okay, but how do we get everybody up here? No! Didn't realize that's what would happen. Oh well. Ah, so this is how we get everybody up here. I see. Okay, cool. Didn't mean to take that bottle. What? Who are we fighting? The chicken? Oh, it's these two idiots! Not enough movement. Okay, so we'll... Uh, we'll move just enough. I guess these two ran and hid. Oh, Merelda's in a rough in rough shape. It is out of spell slots. Firebolt it is. Miss. Alright. Minimum damage. Alright. We're going to long rest after this. I've got it. We kind of have to. Imperial. Command halt. Nine damage, not bad. Uh, Karlak, finish him off. Missed with the reckless attack. Come on. Missed, nice. Come on. All right, if it hits, he dies. Minimum roll. Got him. All right, Karlak. It's go time. All right, roll high. Didn't roll high, but still, nice. Miss, nice.
Don't know why I'm taking the water, but maybe I'll use it in alchemy. Or to throw at something. Rotten cheese. Okay. Let's get to looting again. Oh, forgot to loot the bodies of the idiots. Water cleans acid off the floor. Oh, cool. Maybe I'll leave that on Karlak then. More water. Water Davian cheese wheel. Goblin weapons are easy to sell. Uh, I forget which crate they were in. I don't care that much. We'll take them off of the bodies down here. Scroll of Grease. Food, food. Dwarf's poem. A son of Saluna fell here in the dark below, and we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. A note is scrawled in the margins. Found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turn, but which way? A cluster of stars and lunar phases are sketched beneath. All right, puzzle hint. Found the door under the temple. A flute. Thescan Anthology of Goblin Poetry. I once met a wizard in Tamar who went and corrected me grammar. He said I can't cast no spell till I enunciate well, so I beat him to death with a hammer. What we got here, boys? Ha! Book of Poems, he says. Privy roll, more like. A goblin haiku. A goblin actually followed the rules of haiku. You know how poems make you feel stuff? Well, this one time I was dreaming about this ogre, right? And he was huge. Ran straight at me and I gave him the biggest kick to the nadgers. Woke up smiling, I did. Is that a poem or no? Take the mug of beer, put it in my inventory. Just a dwarf belly. Oh, it's literally a dwarf's belly. Ugh. <laughs> Music box. I'll take the battle axe to sell. Gloves. Hey. Missives of Candlekeep. A select collection of the most notable letters sent from Candlekeep. Many are dry reports of celestial movements or incomprehensible details of arcane rituals. However, this letter catches your eye. To the sage Elminster. I know that name. Over the past year, I've delivered many of your letters to Master Gorion. Oh! 
Let's. Oh, Garion was the say the sage who took care of the Baldur's Gate one protagonist. Oh, so I wanted to be the one to deliver this sad news. Alas, he is with us no more. Garion and his ward left Candlekeep soon after your last letter to him arrived. They departed in the middle of the night, but were waylaid shortly after on the road to Baragost. The gate warden tells me that Garion saw to it that several of his attackers joined him in the next world before he was struck down. I hope this brings you the same grim comfort it brings me. Of his ward, there was no sign. In some better news, I received your letter to the library and was able to find much of the material you requested. It has been carefully secured and will travel with this letter. Yours in honor, Tristan P. Shale, librarian at Candlekeep. P.S. I hope you'll forgive my curiosity, but might I ask, why do you need so much information about Ball Spawn? What exactly are you working on? I played the start of uh, Baldur's Gate 1 with my buddy Sean uh, a few days ago. Uh, and I'll be continuing uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, so I recognize the events described here. That's the start of Baldur's Gate 1. The Mortal View, eyewitness accounts of the Ball Spawn Crisis. The guild seal on the inside of the cover belongs to a printmaking collective in Baldur's Gate. Of course I remember. Near the second that girl was walking that she'd be trouble. Little thief, always in everyone's business. That ward of Garion went right along with her. No surprise a wicked god's blood was running in their veins. Oh, a Moen, huh? A Moen also had... Okay. Well, that's a spoiler for Baldur's Gate 1. I don't care about spoilers for Baldur's Gate 1. I'm just going through it so I can recognize characters and stuff from this that uh, reappear in this game. Saravark and his lot are always the first ones that come to mind. You know, this all started with a bit of iron in Nashkel. Everyone thought their weapons would rot out of their hands. Back then, I thought the problem was bad trade. Never took the man for a son of Baal. Amnian mercenary interviewed on his deathbed. You dare speak that name to me? My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse Baal, I curse Irenicus, and I curse you. Hostile vampire off Katla slums. The five tore Tether to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more ball spawn showing up would fix the war that a pack of them started. Then again, they were all inclined to killing each other, eh? Good riddance. Here's hoping every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Faerun. Saranush Merchant retired. I'm not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Take it up at the Sea Tower if you want to argue. But honestly, who cares if a ball spawn got it stuck to them? Their father's the killing type, after all. Flaming Fist Gauntlet, Baldur's Gate. Several hundred more interviews follow, most of them terse. Well, that's some interesting spoilers about Baldur's Gate 1. Cool that it's in the game. Ooh, Revivify Scrolls. Hide Armor plus two. And three supply packs. Damn, nice. There's my gill from the bets. Fables of Favor 1. The dimwitted. Long ago, in the city of Menzo, Baran Menzo Baranzan, a drow wizard called Zan studied... Oh, I've already heard this. Potion of healing. Empty bottle. Guard Gurgan has nothing on him. Oh, I'm over encumbered. No longer over encumbered. Cool. 
can add those weapons straight to junk and sell them right away? I don't see a... Uh, do you mean add to wares? All right, what's this? Uh, medium armor. Is that something a Starian can wear? I think it is. What now? Oh, excuse me. Yes, it is. No, wait. Did I give him medium armor proficiency? I did, because I had to do that to give him the boots. Okay, yeah, this will be good for a Starian. Plus three AC, uh, plus one bonus to dex saving throws and checks, and a plus one bonus to initiative rolls. Nice. Takes away his cool outfit, but what can you do? Cap of Curing. Inspire an ally using Bardic Inspiration. They also regain one to six hit points. All right, well, I don't have a Bard. Uh, okay, let's add to wares. All, all this jewelry. Oh yeah, I gotta buy back the shaft of the broken spear from somebody. Uh, okay. All right, let's send these arrows to a starian. Keep forgetting to use those. No one stopped me yet. Uh, all right, we're gonna teleport. We're gonna sell stuff. Then we'll come back. We'll long rest. Uh, and then we'll. Proceed through that breakable wall. Take a while for us all to recover, but you've helped us take the first. Of course. Uh, so where's okay? Cool. 
Alright, is there something I want here? Ring of Flinging, where it gains a plus a 1d4 bonus to throw damage. Okay. Heavy armor. Heavy armor. Medium armor. One less slashing damage disadvantage on stealth checks. Uh, medium armor. Take one less slashing damage. Not as good as the 14 AC armor that Astarian's wearing. Let's put short rest. You regain a level one spell slot when you land a critical hit with the spell thief. Ooh. Okay. I think I'll give that to Morelda. Yeah. It's the same damage plus uh, a magic trait ability. Can't use it. It's a longbow. Oh. Uh, hang on then. Damn. All right. What's this pie? Berry tart. Seven camp supplies. I'll take that. Uh, oh, those cost 300. Wow. May you keep balance. Wouldn't it say I'm not proficient with the weapon if um if I wasn't proficient with it? Hang on. Proficiencies. Martial weapons. Yeah, I'm proficient with longbows. Yeah, because I'm an elf. Will's got something new, as does Gale. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers. Oh, something about Joaquin's rest. rest. Then Floric space as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells, older Raven God's been taken. Yes, yeah, Strauss set fire to the inn and stole away with the Duke. Uh, you must know the man, judging by the concern in your voice. I know him better than most. He's my father. Oh, he's not going to be happy to see you in this state. Said, our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. Curious. I heard Duke Ravengard's son left the city, or aren't you worried your father's been abducted? Aren't you worried? Your father's been abducted. More than worried in truth. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? 
Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for Menzo Baranzin. That's how you pronounce it. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. Oh, we definitely need to save him then. More reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. All right, Gail, what do you have to say? My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume. I figured it would be this. And soon. Let's give him the Bard hat. Inspired ally using bardic inspiration, you gain four temporary hit points. Uh, okay, let's. They also regain one to six hit points. Uh, boots of striding. It's medium armor, and it's a caster. It's caster gear. I don't have a bard, but I might pick one up eventually. I don't know how many party members there will be. Uh, but you're right. What time had Gale consumed the magical robes he was currently wearing? That's pretty funny. Corellin's Grace is our quarter staff. Unarmed attack rolls and damage. When well, the wielder is not wearing armor, they receive a plus two bonus to saving throws. Uh, we might pick up a bo Wait. I could just take the ever-seeing eye. Yeah, I'll have him eat the ever-seeing eye. Thank you. Do I actually want to know? No. Uh, let me discover as I go whether there's a bard I'll pick up. Good gods. I don't know what to make of this. Three artifacts is a positive glut of magic. Yet my hunger only grows. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Oh, hey, plot. Uh, go on. You're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. Oh? You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. Yeah, you were Mistra's one of my husband, right? Energy. And from an early age, could not only control the weed, but compose it. I almost said Mistra's wife. A musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. Oh, you only have to give him three the magic items mistress. total. Ah, okay. The goddess, Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. Yet I wasn't satisfied. 
so I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? No, tell me. I'm here for the plot. I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord... It would be cool if the rest of the party was here for this conversation. I'd love their commentary. Save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. Fractured and shattered and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A Netherese tome in which a piece of the... Okay, so you weren't trying to control the weave. You were trying to return part of the weave to Mistra. What if, I thought... What if I'll bet it was something she wanted sealed away. Time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess. I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether, then. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... She caught you, huh? Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. It's sealed in you, isn't it? You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridor. <laughs> the rest of the party's watching, like, what the fuck are they doing? There are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize. And then she kicked you out, huh? You will die. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Jesus! Is there nothing we can do? chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner we might cross paths with a miracle round the bend then again we might not all of this it must feel like a betrayal say the word and we'll part ways okay look this it makes sense that you would keep this secret until you trusted me. Like, I'm not very miffed about that. But you gotta be upfront with everything from now on, Gale. We've come this far together and we'll continue on together. That is how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You 
truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Hell yeah. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Astaria disliked that. The catastrophic weave shattering Gale describes is the in-universe explanation for the mechanics changing between different editions of D&D. &D. How many times does this happen? So with the new edition of D&D &D coming out, Meester's doing the <laughs> I'm in danger meme. How many times has Meester exploded? I mean, I guess um, first to second, second to third, third to 3.5. Well, I guess 3 to 3.5 wouldn't have been that big a change. Third to fourth, fourth to fifth, and now fifth to one. So Meester has exploded five times. She must be having a rough time. Uh, nobody else has anything to say about that? I guess maybe when we uh, turn in for the night. You're staring at me again. What do you want? Just talk to them normally? Well, I'm sorry you didn't have anything to say. What are you thinking about? May the darkness protect you. At least one of the edition changes was her being resurrected from dying in a previous edition. So canonically, the editions happen in order... Uh, like, first edition, second editions, the events depicted in second edition's lore happen after the events of first edition's lore. And the same for th second to third and third to fourth. I thought it was just one big rolling cannon. I didn't realize it was a chronology. What was it like being the son of a Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coppers. He made a name for himself among the flaming fist, brave as Balderon, stubborn as a deep rope bay, daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. I like him already. I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. There's a ha in, there's a joke in Baldur's Gate 2. There's a halfling fighter who wants to be a paladin, but in second edition they can't. One of the party members points out that not long ago all halflings were considered thieves in first edition. Maybe there will be another change. And the halfling says that the gods probably won't allow a third edition. How, what year did um, third edition come out? Was it like 2002 when Baldur's Gate 2 was, was released? Now you're the Blade of Frontiers. Quite a change, don't you think? Yes and no. Father taught me the four pillars of power. Courage, insight, strategy justice 
He reckoned I'd follow in his footsteps. First as a fist marshal, then as a duke. Vanquish evil, maintain order, save the world. But a duke makes bedfellows with more monsters than he slays. Father called it diplomacy. I called it hypocrisy. In the frontiers, there is no posturing, no diplomacy. I slay monsters. I don't consort with them. Even if I might look like one. Oh, that scowl. You okay, Pop? Kind of seizing there. Oh, you got a ball! Uh... Distracted with one hand and slipped the ball from his jaws with the other. Add bonus. Advantage lucky, because this is the last roll I'm making before I turn in for the night. Crit success! Oh, I'm definitely going to throw the ball. He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. Oh, I wish I'd done this with Karlak, who's speaking with animals. Oh, I don't get to throw the ball? As a side note, I highly doubt that Mistra will die in the transition to 1D&D. &D. The magic system is near identical between them, and it's not being marketed as a new edition. Fair enough. I wanted to throw the ball. Wish I'd done that with Carlac. Oh, throw from your inventory. Okay. So I have acquired ball. I have received Scratch's ball. Aw. Where is Scratch's ball? There's Scratch's ball. Doge? Where did Doge go? Hello, Doge? I wish to throw the ball. Aha! I received, he brought it back! Ah, Cute! Very cute. Nobody has anything to say about Gale. So, I guess... Now you can play fetch with the doge forever. Excellent. Alright, before we uh, continue, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in a couple of minutes, guys.
So two things. First, the other day I I was musing on how you get Halston to the party. I was like, oh, is this how you get Halston to the party? He wants to travel with us, uh, and he hasn't joined the party yet. So apparently not. One of you said in response to that, don't worry about how you get Halston in the party, which is a very suspicious statement. And it just occurred to me that since we're going to uh, a stronghold of the absolute, he's probably going to get tadpoled excuse me, to bring him in line with the abilities and motivations of the rest of the party. And that's how we'll get him. Second, I'm curious, if you're playing as Gale, if you start an origin character story as Gale, who does he have that conversation with? Like, who who does he tell about his curse? That's a lot of food. Albert Cub? Albert Cub! You recognize the feathered creature. It's the Albert Cub you rescued. That's a piece of food from your bag. Everyone approved of that. Gale doesn't have a face, but he approved of it. Keep the food held out in front of you. Oh my gods! Look at his little beak! Oh, come here, you doll! Carlac! At least turn on animal hand. Uh, 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 speak with animals. Scared it off. Poor little beaky fella. Hope he finds his way back. Oh. God, Karlak is so cute. Okay, detect thoughts is a ritual, so it's not going to consume a spell slot. So we're preparing our stuff. Speak with animals, detect thoughts. Huh. Anyone have anything to say before we go? No. Okay, cool. Leave camp. Yeah, Minthara's just going to be there for a while. She's a party member. She's in the party. Does Resurrection still tell you the alignment to the caster? In 5th edition? I know it did in 3.5, because I've read Order of the Stick. The owlbear can eat her for us. <laughs> Right, right there. All right, Carlac, you're up.
Immune to slashing damage. Oh no, I sold my Warhammer! Oh, magic missile would work. Oh, okay. Use my level one spell slot for it. Nope. Need to go rebuy my uh Warhammer. Knew I was keeping that around for a reason. Carlac. Uh, I'm also going to load to before I used that spell slot. Because I've only got the seven. Eh, whatever. I've got like 3k gil. Saluna. So is Shar an evil god or just a god of darkness? It'll take a while for us all to recover. Of course. Oh. Never mind, I have a Warhammer. May you keep balance. Let's Give that to Carlac. I didn't actually sell the... Huh. Didn't actually sell the stuff. Collapsed corridor. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go sell the junk. And then, then we'll come back. Forgot to do that. In this timeline. Shar is neutral evil. It's interesting that Shadowheart likes kindness and, and being nice to people to the extent that she does. She really has lost her memories of being a servant of Shar. If she was even a servant of Shar, she might have, um, she might have been, like, kidnapped off the street and told to do this or whatever. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. Just glad I could help. As am I. And I'm sure, of course... May you keep balance. 
Oh, you know what? Maybe she was a follow of, uh, follower of Saluna who got her memories wiped and sent on this mission by Char. All right, let's give you your sword back, Carlac. Hang on. What kind of hammer is this? That is a war hammer. Okay. What proficiencies does Shadowheart have? Morning stars, not warhammers. Okay. I'd love to, thanks. That is a separate category. Yes, it's a separate category. Okay. So Shadow Heart can't use it. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it just brought me here. This is just an alternate way in. Oh, hey, a chest I didn't notice. 84 gil. Arrow of many targets. Deal an additional half damage to three other targets in range. Ooh. Arrow of Arcane Interference. Break your co target's concentration and silence it. Astarian. Pick those up. Touch me. At least things have stayed interesting. Oh, another chest. Cool. Scroll of Sleep and Witch Bolt. You probably start selling some of these scrolls of, like, level one spells or whatever. I wonder if that gnome merchant is still there. Oh, hello. Place is That's a gerblin in there. Uh, I think we... Huh. We're gonna leave you hanging out there for a minute, buddy. Take the rope. Oh, no. Alright. Alright, what are we dealing with? Two goblins that have noticed us. All right, cutting action dash. On my way. All right, one down. Damage, not bad. Never a dull moment. Can I shoot from here?
Are you outside normal range? Hey. Ten damage, very nice. My damage and ensnared. Okay. Carlac's not going to be able to do anything here. Oh, being ensnared makes you take more damage? Oh. My faith will protect me. Got him. Awesome. There's a whole section of this area I never went to. Oh, there's some moons. Moons gotta move. Okay, so nothing here. All right, you know what? Let's open this. DC 15, cancel. Astarian. Guidance. Crap. Oh, just short. I'm probably going to regret opening this. You're not a cultist. Dead. Thanks for breaking me out. Gonna find me a new tribe. One that appreciates the old ways. Cool. Well, have a good one. Maybe we'll run into him later and he'll uh, remember us. Trap disarm toolkits. What a day. Cool. Is that blood? No, never mind. Yep, merchant's gone. We didn't get to go through these doors. Let's go through the doors. Oh, these are explosives. Locked. Astarian, you're up. Trust no one. Whoops, wrong. Lockpick. A crooked touch. 
DC 18. Four, five, seven, nine, twenty two. Nice. That's curious. Two seventy five gold. What's that over there? Rocky Crevice. That thing is small, and I am not. All right, more moons. All right, let's see what's in this other door. What to do? Oh, I need. Oh, right, not locked anymore because I got a key. Scroll of Chromatic Orb. Very useful. It's up there? Weird. Hang on. There's a ladder. We'll get the ladder after we explore this room. this lead? Defiled Temple? Soul Coins, a treatise. Academic disclosure. This research was funded independently, conducted at a site in Avernus. The first... Keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Oh, that texture didn't load. Hi. Are you gonna attack us or can I have permission to be here? You're about to be ejected. Try to buy your way in two thousand gil. Try to convince some you belong here. Uh let's go with persuasion. Look at me. Do I look dangerous? DC twenty two Okay. <laughs> nope. Combat it is. You have outstayed your already flimsy welcome, and now you will leave. I'm fine with fighting this thing. Been caught trespassing again. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I live here. Why is why are you crunching your chin into your neck? You set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. Uh I'm here, aren't I? You wouldn't have let me in if I didn't belong, would you? Oh, 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 oh. If I roll a three or higher on guidance. Yeah! <laughs> you managed 
to talk your way in. No easy feat. Catakeep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of mortal souls. Soul coins, as a concept, are one of merciless simplicity. The sum of personal and magical essence. The soul is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils in their cohort. They are frequently traded, for their value can purchase mercenaries, magical items, and even fuel the strange engines in the hells. Can't believe that worked. I can't believe it let me keep trying. However, there is a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted she has one coin that she will never sell, for it was the bargain that got her promoted out of Lemur status. She connected me to a half-elf warlock who had promised his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. The next 50 pages appear to be a painstakingly written legal document in Infernal, with a headache-inducing number of footnotes. Magic of the Weave. Few try to understand the Weave. A true pity, for only they who are truly attuned to the Weave can rightly call themselves spellcasters. Oh, I've already read this. A pleasurable deal. Below is a transcript of an interview with the writer and director of A Pleasurable Deal, Mr. Kingsley Harp. Interviewer. What was the inspiration behind this, if I may be so bold, entirely lewd piece of drama? It's about exploring the taboo, seeing who we, as people, really are. Yes, Robert makes a deal with a cambion, but who wouldn't? Well, I like to think most people wouldn't. Then you don't know most people. Everyone wants something. Everyone needs something. Cambions can see it. In a way, they know us better than we know ourselves. But at the end of the play, Robert dies horribly. What does that say about what we, as you put it, need? You forget. Robert dies because he broke away from Carlisle. He didn't stay true to the deal they made. So, you're encouraging people to make a pact with Hell's offspring? To give up, as Robert did, his soul. We only have one life. Why not make the most of it? So, what was your deal? I beg your pardon? In fact, this was your directorial debut, wasn't it? You couldn't even get published in the tabloid Baldur's Bash before this play came out. Did you honestly trade your soul for an erotic play? I... Uh, all right, we're done here. The lore in these books is so good. An excerpt from The True and Impossible Adventures of Tenebrooks Morrow. A uh, pulp serial following the real-life exploits of an interplanar ship's captain. The real Captain Morrow is known never to have left her native water deep and emerges from her rooms at the yawning portal only to exchange scrawled manuscripts for fresh meals and ink. And thus, in the light of the Feywild's near-setting sun, we passed into the land of the Eladrin. The Eladrin? Eladrin? I'll say Eladrin. My astute resolution to sail around their forests was betrayed. It seems to me that the river itself conspired to change course, bringing the new bride into the shadow of the trees that I might see those dancing figures up close. The form of the Eladrin, with which I am now intimately familiar, is that of elves, as seen in a fever dream. Slender as wands, and with hair of every changeable hue, their moods mirror that fey wilderness from which they spring, one moment gentle as a still pond, the next inexorable and deadly as a falling mountain. The latter I experienced only after spending many agreeable hours, or perhaps seasons, among them. A halfling woman, employed among my crew as a smith, dared to raise her voice in song above that of our hosts. The depth of the insult became clear as the forest fell into silence, and it was only quick thinking on my part that delivered a compromise. When we left, it was without our smith, 
and the only sound was the solitary ring of her hammer as she endeavored to forge a blade that would sing for the Eladrin more sweetly than she. It has been some centuries since. I hope she has succeeded by now. How old do you claim you are? The lore, the, the lore books in this game are so good. Scroll of Mel's Acid Arrow. He was seen stealing. Resolving this peacefully will require more caution than you displayed in getting caught. Old fur, what was taken is now yours. Your defiance holds little sway. Your thievery will be rectified. So you may not live to see it. All right, let's see how badass the um uh, uh librarian is. I can't afford to fail. I was trying to concentrate. Don't be shy. Not enough movement. Rage gets me more movement, I believe. Moving. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Uh Max roll, nice. Let's have some cut. Action dash. Want to attack Karlak? No! Yeah, Karlak, opportunity attack. 15 damage, nice. Save my luck. Let's turn someone inside out. Got her. Oh, a supply pack. Cool. An open letter on oppression. Written in a furious, sloping hand. This is a letter to the editor of Baldur's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear editor, I find it despicable, nay, diabolical, that you would def... Oh, I've already read this. Missives of Candlekeep. Already read that. A letter on oppression. Fringe Philosophy, Volume 5. The publisher's note claims this volume promotes magical theory too radical for the mainstream. This excerpt is attributed to High Artificer Thora Bryn of Baldur's Gate. I suppose they seek to silence me, believing that an artificer of the High House would not stoop to publish in any volume outside of the great Gaudian journals they so diligently guard. Oh, I've already read this. Journey through the jungle. The sun had just fallen below the horizon when I first heard its call. A thousand reed pipes at once, whistling a single, beautiful, terrible song. Ulu Thalong, said Jaw. It's coming. Jaw dropped her pack and scurried up the nearest bitter. With a bit more effort, I climbed a tree of my own, and the two of us surveyed the grassy ground beneath. Awoo! There it was again, above and beneath and all around. So close, my skull vibrated from the sound. The ferns and foliage under me rippled and swayed. Jaw held a finger to her lips to demand my silence, and in one motion it snatched her. A vine? A tentacle? It hardly mattered. The hunter had found its prey. Jaw's screams swelled, then faded as Ulu Thalong dragged her away. I leapt down to give chase, but the creature left no mark behind. The grasses were untrampled, the shrubs unbroken. I had only the memory of that harrowing call to guide me. 
Bridge Philosophy Volume 5. Scroll of Burning Hands. Pouch! Gold and a gold ring. Cool. Take the basic poison. Excuse me. something no need to be rude gilded chest amulet of misty step well i already have misty step but will that work if i give it to non-casters Recipe of Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Poison. Selenite Journal. Most of the pages in this aged journal have been hastily torn out, perhaps for kindling. Thus, the interlocking circles will bring the full moons to match the stars, while casting darkness where it belongs at the bottom. That chasm to the Underdark will stay sealed. I confess the design is not foolproof to outsiders, but I had to sacrifice complexity for material resilience. I've always wondered why Saluna took me from the Hall of Wonders to serve at this temple as priestess. Perhaps this was the reason. Anyone can cast a spell with the right magic item. Nice! Uh, in that case, they need spell slots, though, right? So I I couldn't give this to Carlac. No, they don't need spell slots. Okay, let's give this to Karlak then. Making me sweat. Oh, she's already got an amulet on. Oh, okay. She's got the moon drop pendant on. I I want her to have that. Uh, let's send that to Shadowheart then. Let's get on with it. She's wearing. Oh, Saluna's dream, the cantrip. Okay. Well, uh, a story that it is. Karlak cannot cast spells while raging. Gotcha. Does a story have a necklace on? A story has Tardis Charm. Makes it easier for the wearer to succeed death saving throws. Well, with the number of death saving, thro saving throws a Starion goes through, I'll leave the Tardis Charm on him. Alright, well, oh well. Padlock Key. Oh, that's probably for uh, the key I, the lock I pried open. A is for Azuth, another God's Eleven. Oh, 
potion of healing, elixir of fire resist, potion of greater healing. Roll up darkness and slow. Ooh, slow. Target up to six creatures and slow them. Movement and actions are affected and their AC and dexterity saves are reduced by two. Give a character Gary and make him have as low intelligence as possible. Oh, are you playing uh, the Fallout Gary? Also, hi, Eddie. How's it going, man? Uh, oh, we're a starry right now. Let's give those scrolls to Merelda. All right, well, we've looted the library successfully. What's over here? Is this the path to the Underdark, I wonder? Aha! Yes, this is the path to the Underdark. Any barbecue sauce out from under your up arrow? Yuck! How'd that happen? Interlocking circles with moons and stars. This must be the seal mentioned in that journal. Hey, puzzle time! Better take a closer look. Okay. So. If I understand the hints correctly, I want to have the darkness all be on this one away from the stars. Okay. A sneeze. Lovely. Alright, you... Okay. Out of the way, Carlac. Out of the way, Carlac. Ha ha. This goes very far down. We'll have to go in to see the bottom. And I got, uh, I got inspiration from that. Nice. Okay. Do I want to do this today? It is getting a little late. The Underdark seems like it would be a whole experience. Huh, do I want to keep going? At least see the cutscene going down. Good point. Oh, that's that's a long drop. I would not be comfortable climbing down this. I don't care what others say about the Underdark. It's beautiful down here. I'm used to a crypt's gloom. This is something else. Potions of Featherfall? Can I ch find and chug one of those... On my way down. Mm. 
Yeah, I think we'll stop here. And we'll pick... We'll do the... Uh, we'll do at least the first part of the Underdark next time. Excuse me. Yeah, I think this is going to be a whole experience. Oh, there's another cutscene? Oh, no, what if you have Featherfall? And what if you don't? It's another way to get into the Underdark. Ah, good old non-standard game overs. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to stop here. Uh, and we will do the Underdark next time. Which will be in about a week. I've got a packed week ahead of me. Um, so let me read my schedule and we'll end. Uh, tomorrow is going to be our weekly Final Fantasy XIV stream. Uh, so tune in for that. Uh, Sunday, we'll be playing Persona 5 Strikers for a patron. Uh, Monday, will be Silent Hill for a patron. Tuesday, will be Slay the Princess for a patron. Uh, Inigo, will that be at 1 or 2 p.m.? I've got to adjust that on my schedule. Uh, let me know via Discord. Uh, and then Wednesday through Friday, we'll be doing 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. And then the rest of the month's schedule, Saturday will be Final Fantasy XIV, the 29th will be Noita, and then I have the 30th and 31st that are open on my schedule, so we'll play more Baldur's Gate. Um, but for now, thank you guys for tuning in, thanks for hanging out, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.